Hey guys, greetings. This is Juan Chavez with Ostrich Hole, and today we have a special review. It is CyanogenMod Mod 7.1 for the Samsung Galaxy S2. This is the European version, from Germany to be exact. And we're gonna do a review for it. So I decided to bring the first stable version of CyanogenMod 7.1 and do a review for you guys. Let me just zoom in a little. And this is for the Samsung Galaxy S2. So let's take a look at it. You can, as a, lot, as a lot of people know, on the European Galaxy S2, you can turn it on with the home button or with the power button. So let's dig in. Let me wipe my screen a little. It's a little smudgy. Man, I cannot get a correct camera ankle, ankle, angle for this. Uh, that, is that good? So. Let's unlock it. And this, I of course have customized it to my liking. Let me zoom out, bring it up close. So, uh, Cyanage Mod loads their home screen with ADW Launcher. This does come built into Cyanage Mod as we see here. Settings, ADW Launcher. And to indeed show you guys that I'm running the newest version of Cyanage Mod. We'll go to about phone, and it's Android 2.3.7. There's my model number, and there we go. So this phone is really stock. It's a uh, let me wipe my notifications. It is a quick phone. I mean, I, ooh, it's fantastic. It's just devilishly fast. And loading the signage mod on it, it just makes it twice the bit faster. Because it's stock Android. Uh, I haven't done as much customization to this one as I have to the Evo 4G. But I did do my, my own customizations. So, um, you can still, you still have the theme changer. So you can go from system current to Android Len or whatever. And then Cyan Bread, which is one of my favorites. You gotta let it load. And as you can see, it turns the battery icons blue. And when you're scrolling, when you hit the bottom, it glows blue and stuff. It's really cool. Let me zoom in. I'm gonna... uh, quadrants, believe it or not, guys, I get a 5200. Uh, I am not kidding. That That is beyond the fastest phone I have the fastest quadrant I've ever gotten and quadrants don't really mean a lot to me I mean I love doing quadrants I love showing off to my friends that I got a quick a very quick phone but day-to-day -day usage it, it depends on the software because as we all know the Motorola Atrix it is a laggy phone but on quadrants it gets like a 2900 to 31 uh, and this phone, I mean, I have had no lag on it. It's it's just a beautiful investment. If you guys can get one uh, over the AT&T variant that just came out, I believe, the third or the first, get the European version. I mean, no bloatware, and it's just a fantastic phone. But we're not reviewing the Galaxy S2. We're reviewing CyanogenMod. So the kernel that comes on this, you can overclock to 1.6 gigahertz right there. 1.6 and let's see if I can get actually the same luck that I got last time and get a around the 52s so we'll run a quadrant let's just wait doo, doo, doo. I mean you can just see how fast it's going through stuff and we're gonna compare this yes I have two Galaxy S2's this is the Spanish version turn it on this isn't rooted or anything. I have to return this actually because it's faulty. But any other reviews uh, you guys want me to do on software? This is my personal phone. Just in the comment section below or uh, tweet at Ostrich Hole. I'll put the name right there, or just send me a message on YouTube. See? Oh come on! I I had. We'll run one more. Let me just make sure this 1600 performance. If not, I'm gonna go get my BlackBerry because I took a picture. Like 
I'm not even kidding. So with that's, while that's running, I'll go get my Blackberry. Oh. Moved my camera there just a tad. That wasn't good. Found it. Turn the Blackberry on. And let's press OK. Focus. So 49.56, but let me show you guys the picture. Uh, should be under media, pictures, camera. So you can see I tried to take many pictures. That's my battery life. Hmm. What are those pictures? You have to be kidding. Oh! What a coincidence. They're actually on the phone. I sent them to myself. So. They should be under my old number. Focus. So 5261, and that, that, that was taken on my Samsung. I'll run one more quadrant, because I really want to see me get that high score again. I want to get it on video. So I'm still in performance. Quadrant. Go back. Run again. Let's run this one more time. I haven't used my Blackberry in a while. I have like a bazillion emails. But yeah, I love this phone. I, I like this one a lot too. But that that problem, I mean, look at the button. Look what happened to my button. It started chipping. Focus. And then the speaker on all my cases is misaligned. I'll show you that in a second. This isn't about that, but just to give you guys a head up. So 5137, so we're getting closer, but not quite what I got the other day. But that is on CyanogenMod 7.1, overclocked to 1.6 gigahertz. So let's bring it down to the 1.2 and put it on on demand. We'll exit out of that. So beyond the minor settings, like if you go to, you get CyanogenMod settings, um... There isn't really much different. It's bone stock Android, what, it will, like, what you find on your Nexus S. I mean, a lot of people say don't mess with CyanogenMod settings. Mess with them. The ones you don't want to mess with are... Let's see, let me find it. Interface? I don't know. D performance. Those are... See right here. Dragons ahead. You don't want to mess with those because that's what set CPU is for. But everything else you should mess with, like lock screen, style options. As you saw, I had this one. Uh, a new one to CyanogenMod 7.1 is this, the ring. And it's kind of cool. I just like having the tradition of the stock Android. But you get this little ring and you can just drag it around, play a little. Kind of like WebOS. A little fun. Put it back. You can change your volume through it. You can just drop it wherever rubber and you are unlocked you got the cu custom app starter right there you choose your application I have it set as messaging so now when I lock it you you go you drag it you put it on the messaging app and then you are brought into messages um that pretty much sums it up for signage on 7.1 I mean there isn't many changes uh, but if you guys own a Galaxy S2 I will compare TouchWiz and CyanogenMod. So as you can see here, let me turn my brightness up on this one. 50. I don't understand why it's so dull. Um, but you can see just differences in performance.
<coughs> oh, I had to sneeze. Sorry about that. And I get about a 2300 in quadrant on this. Let me see if I can run one without my battery dying. Uh, quadrant. So hopefully that won't die. Let this one onto the side. But yeah, uh, your phone does have to be um, rooted. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the power prompt. Reboot. I'll show you how flexible it is to customize. And this one, my friends, has died. So let me just show you my reboot. And then I got one more thing to show you built in the Cyan Engine mod settings. So as you can see, there's my little insecure kernel sign right there. As you can see, I added my own custom anima uh, boot animation. And the phone is on. I think that's really, really slick. No other, f I mean, that just separates your phone from other phones. And media scanning, it doesn't take up like 10 minutes. It does it instantly. Your phone's boom, working. So let me show you that last thing, and then I'm going to sign off. Sign engine mod settings. You go into interface render effect and let's say you're in the movies and you want to use your phone I mean you want to be that guy that person that likes to use their phone in the movies and you don't want to def deflect light to your face or anything you can do this new one that's exclusive design engine mod 7.1 and go to night mode 37,000 or 100 or 37k click it and you can see that the colors are still there but it there's no reflection now you can do some other cool ones. You can go terminal green. Ooh, that's hard. To, that's harsh on the camera. Blue, that's even worse. Or you can go to the classic red, which is destroying my autofocus. It doesn't even. Ugh. So no render effect. But you guys can do. You can do that, and I mean, just a lot of people say don't mess with Cyanogen mod settings. You can explore them. Just don't don't mess with performance because you could end up frying your phone like l legitimately frying you can add those widgets like I have night right here and then I have red um, this is a pre-rooted or a rooted ROM so right yeah you get the new version of super user which is kinda of funky uh, that's what I use to change my my boot animation It's called boot animation changer or back and as you can see, this is a new version of Super User. It's not bad. It's just kind of missed the old one. Uh, let me show you that application. It's a really cool app. I'm not endorsed or anything, but you guys, I should share it with you guys. Right here, Boot Animation Changer. You can go to Change Animations. Just You have to be rooted to use this, but I'll show you another cool one. Um... I want to show you this one. I mean, I, I like Steve Jobs. I have an iPhone 4 and, a, and I, I like it, but this is just this just got me laughing. <laughs> so, yeah. I still love you, Steve Jobs, but... Uh, and you got a whole bunch of them. If, if you don't buy the, the premium version, you can get all these for free. The Superman one's really cool for free. You can see it draws it out when it's turning on. And this isn't a cyanogen mod, I just wanted to show you that. I like hopping around on my reviews. There you go. But yeah, uh, I'm thinking about doing a MIUI review. If you guys want me to, just post a comment in the comment section below. Or send me a message on Twitter or YouTube. Um... But yeah, any more software reviews you guys want me to do, I'm here. And case reviews. I have a case review coming up for the SGP Linear for the Samsung Galaxy S2. The Neo Hybrid EX, and I have a, a TPU case laying around over, over there somewhere. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please rate my video, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I want to give one of these cases away, courtesy of SGP and myself. Uh, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Juan Chavez with Ostrichel, and stay breezy.